Thank you for welcoming us out into your home through the television tonight. You know, we're just here to have church with you, just uplift the name of Jesus Christ and proclaim his kingdom. I know there's a lot of people out there that's in rest homes or stuck at home that can't get out to church, and this is about the only church they get. So I'll just uh, pray that something we do tonight will bless you in some way, whether it's the songs we sing, the message we ask for you, or whatever it is. We just pray it'll bless you in a mighty Amen. way. You know, there's a going to be a number on the bottom of the screen there and, and you, you call in that number all your prayer requests we'll do all the prayer requests and we'll do as many of the song requests as we can we can't always get them in but we do the best we can but uh you know we like i said we're just here to have church with you and we just pray that if there's anybody out there watching tonight that hadn't accepted you that they would do so tonight before it's everlasting too late now i ask you Ask Roger if he'll ask a blessing on a service before we get into it. The precious Lord and Heavenly Father, Lord, is, uh, we come to you this evening, Lord, just uh, asking and pleading, Lord, that you uh, just give us a message that will open the hearts of those that are around us. And Lord, if there's any that do not know you, that they do find you and seek you before it's eternally too late. Lord, we know there's a lot of sickness and suffering out there. And Lord, we just ask that you reach down and give those folks a gentle, tender touch and ease their burdens, Lord. And we just, uh, we ask this all in Jesus' holy and precious name. And amen. 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 This next song we're going to do is called Take My Hand, Precious Lord. And you know, when troubles comes and you're really getting down, the one thing you want to do is let Jesus take your hand and amen. guide amen. you through it. Take my hand, precious Lord. I got the wrong page. I don't know how I done that. <laughs> <laughs> what key are we in now? A flat. Okay. <laughs> when my way grows through, precious Lord, linger near. When my life is almost gone, here I cry, here I call. Lord, take my hand, lead 
This next song we're going to do is called Victory in Jesus. When you accept Jesus as your Savior, you want a great victory. Amen. It's victory in Jesus, and it's something awesome. Buddy Jim's uh, stepdaughter is watching this right now in uh, Philadelphia. We'd just like to send that out to Jennifer. Amen. In memory of Jim. Hope you enjoy it, Jennifer. I heard an old, old story how the Savior came. From glory, how he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning, of his precious blood atoning. Then I repented of my sins and won the victory. Savior forever. He sought me 
and he bought me with his redeeming blood. Praise God. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is doing. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. Amen. Will brought us a bunch of requests here. It's good to hear from you. Appreciate you calling in. And we're here, as Ronnie said, to uplift the name of Christ. Next song we're going to do, if I could hear my mother pray again for Ron Jeffries. And another request for Stroll Over Heaven, uh, for Dolores Jeffries, and Victory in Jesus. We just sang that. Uh, for Debbie Crockett and the Rowan family. We hope that you enjoy that. And at the cross for Daniel and Paulette and William Schaefer. So we probably got that one in here. We'll look at it. Oh, I got near the cross. That ought to be close enough. Well, that's, that's in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's just good to be in one mind, one accord, and on. God's still blessing. Let's just get our hearts and minds off the things of the world and just praise God with all the power and might that we have. Good to have a little Daryl back with us tonight. Uh, got his girlfriend here with him, and she's not nervous. She's been here before. And all the people that you know, we see along the way, the ones we see in Lowe's today and whatever, uh, we appreciate you watching the broadcast. We're here for one reason, and that's to honor God. Lift Him up and see lost souls saved. So if you're lost tonight, this is a perfect opportunity, and maybe the last opportunity you ever have to accept Him. Just ask Him to be Lord of your life. So the song we're going to Saying is, uh, if I could hear mother pray again, beautiful old song. How sweet and happy seems those days of which I dream. When memory recalls them now and then. And with what rapture sweet my weary heart would be. If I could hear my mother. Pray again. If I could only hear my mother pray again. If I could only hear her tender voice as in, so glad I'd be, would mean so much to me. If I could hear my mother pray. Pray that I on Jesus would rely and always walk the shining gospel way. Said, trusting still his love, I seek that home above. For I shall meet my mother some glad day. If I could hear my mother. If I could only hear her tender voice as in, so that I should be, would mean so much to me. If I could hear my mother pray again, within the old old place, her patient smiling face was always spreading comfort, hope, and cheer.
Schaefer family. Okay. At the cross, so we're singing it for the Schaefer's. This next song we're going to do is tell it to Jesus. If you've got a problem, if you, something's bothering you, whatever it is, just tell it to Jesus. He will. He'll take care of it for you. That's, that's what he said he'd do. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be there for you. Send this one out to Sister Cheryl. So, Sister, just tell it to Jesus. All right. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Are you weary? Are you heavy hearted? Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. Are you grieving for joys departed? Tell it to Jesus alone. Amen. Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. He is a friend that's well known. You have no Tell it to Jesus alone. You the tears flow down your cheeks unbidden. Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. Have you sins that to man's eyes are hidden? Tell it to Jesus alone. Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. He 
is a friend that's well known. You have no other such a friend or brother. Tell it to Jesus alone. Do you fear the gathering clouds of sorrow? Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. Are you anxious? What shall be tomorrow? Tell it to Jesus alone. Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. He is a friend that's well known. You have no other such a friend or brother. Tell it to Jesus alone. Are you troubled at the thought of dying? Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. For Christ coming daily are you sighing? Tell it to Jesus alone. Tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. He is a friend that's well known. friend or brother, tell it to Jesus alone. Amen. Amen. This time we'll turn it over to Roger. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to say good evening to you. If you have your Bibles with you, turn to the book of Proverbs. Uh, we'll look at Proverbs chapter 22 verses 6 and 8. And it says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower's servant to the lender. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity, and the rod of his anger shall fail. I'd like to send this out to Vanny Cornell, Maynard and Luella Hannafin, Kyle and Judy Lane, Archie Snyder, Jeff and Missy Browning, we've been missing you all in church. Uh, Bonnie and Billy Black, or Bonnie Black and Billy Sipe. Daryl and Patty Bennett. Daryl, I hope you're feeling better. Karen Helmick, Joyce Lesendak, Richard Day, and Snuffy Pritt. You ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> Train up the child in the way he should go. Train up the child in the way he should go. And when he is old, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Train up the child in the way he should go. Train up the child in the way he should go. And when he is old, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity and the rod of his anger shall fail. Train up the child in the way he should go. Train up the child in the way he should go. And when he is old, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Ron. You fired up a scene. Uh, Flip on over to your right to uh, book of Proverbs, chapter 30, uh, verses 5 and 6. And it says, every word, not just some of them, every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Verse 6 says, add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. I'd like to send this out to Lawrence and Mady Hamner, Jennifer Ritter and Haley uh, Iconis, Shirley McCord, Rosemary Heatherly, Verla and Darlene Henkel, Phyllis Cochran, Dee Casella, George and Char Charlotte Irwin, Betty Winkler, Nola Herndon, Richard Norman, Captain, and uh, Ruth and Sterling Gregory. 
Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in Him. Every word of God is pure. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in Him. Every word of God is pure. Save us. I doubt not unto His words, lest He reprove them and thou be found a liar. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in Him. Every word of God is pure. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right, we're going to skip a page or uh, back into the next book of Isaiah. And uh, Isaiah 51, verse 11. It says, Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing into Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall abstain gladness and joy and sorrow, and mourning shall flee away. I'd like to send this out to Miss Sally Ann Veith, Helen Shields, Glenna Kaysen, Carol Coger, Helen Burkhammer and Donna, uh, Ronald Dolores Jeffries, Paul and Susan Hours, Vinsel, Gloria Riley, Rennie and Iris Day, Toots Bennett, and Ron Murphy. Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing into Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing into Zion and everlasting joy shall be upon their head they shall abstain gladness and joy and sorrow and mourning shall flee away therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing in Zion and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. Amen. Amen. Pastor, the evening is yours. Bless you, everybody. God bless you, my brother. Glory be to God. I'd like to say good evening once again to each one of you. Just old brother Gail Smith used to say, Man, it's just good to be alive. Amen. It's just good to know that Jesus Christ is King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, all dwells and serves together. And my, uh, we can be right in harmony with them when we read our Bible and we pray and sing the old songs of Zion. And, you know, this just old revival we have here on Monday nights, all of us just getting together, singing songs, and just lifting up the name of Jesus Christ. And that's the way people used to do in their homes years ago. So you get an old guitar out or get around the old piano and just begin to uh, play the old songs. And many times just sing her but let her just rear back and let her go if you didn't have an instrument at Sing from the heart. And some of the best songs that I've ever heard sung was from good Christian people that uh, just didn't know one key from the other, but they were singing to their master. Just as that song, if I could hear my mother pray again. Mama used to, couldn't sing too well, but she loved to sing to her king, and we enjoyed listening to it. So tonight, get our hearts and minds off the things of the world. Let's lift up the name of Jesus Christ, that he'll be honored and glorified in everything that we say and do. If you have your Bibles with you tonight, we'd like for you to turn to the book of James. The book of James. And it was amazing how we're in one mind, one accord. Roger and I were talking about this. Uh, uh, Roger brought it up before I ever uh, had the message brought out to start on. And then we know everything just what it needs to be. And God is delivering the message. Not me. I'm just standing in for him. And he said he'd open up. If you'd open up your mouth, he'd fill her up with words. And I've not had a lot of trouble talking. I can't hardly hear. My hearing aids are in the shop getting them worked on. That, uh, uh, you know, you could probably hear me without this microphone. Because once I start getting excited in the spirit, you know, I just keep getting louder and louder and louder. Because yeah, I want people to know 
all about Jesus. Don't anyone say I didn't mention it because it's my pleasure to mention Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. The book of James, chapter 1, beginning with verse 22. Book of James, chapter 1, verse 22, and there it says, Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is likened to a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and uh, goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whosoever, whoso thinketh, looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed." And if any man among you seem to be religious, and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Amen. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Mm. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word and Lord, the mysteries that are written herein. And Lord, what a joy it is to stand in your presence and feel the flow of your Holy Spirit, knowing and realizing that you are God, the only God, the true God of heaven. And Lord, bless your word, anoint us with your spirit. The Lord will speak your words tonight. There'll be comfort and peace to those that are watching. And for these things we ask in Jesus' name. And amen and amen. amen. Looking at this passage of Scripture uh, from the book of James, you know, every word in this Bible is truth. Amen. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by Christ and Him alone. There is no other way. We live in a world which... People think they're gods themselves and uh, that they don't have anybody to answer to, but my Bible tells me different. I read an article today about uh, this fellow that was an atheist that uh, he's putting out that if you try to teach your kids about the Word of God, uh, then you're committing child abuse. Well, I'm here to tell him and you and everyone else that you're abusing that child if you don't tell them about the Word of God. Amen. Because this is the only hopes that we have. Paul to Paul said, if in this life only we had hopes, we'd be of all men most miserable. Uh, I've been out to cemeteries, a lot of bodies, uh, not people, but bodies, uh, because the Spirit has already left that body time it ever gets to the cemetery. And I'm telling you, to be absent of bodies, to be proud of the Lord. And we as Christians need to look like Christians, act like Christians, and talk like Christians. That's right. Uh, here it says to be a doer of the Word. Now, it's one thing to hear the Word of God. But then, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to accept it, or are you going to reject it? That is your right to make that decision. But don't lay in hell someday and say, well, if that preacher had said a little more, God, if you'd have done this, if you'd have done that, you, you just lay down there and, you know, you could blame till, till, till eternity passes by, and you're still going to be there. There's no change in it. And if you accept Jesus Christ and you live and act like a believer, <laughs> folks, people will recognize your testimony. They'll know that you're a Christian. Amen. And I want to be a doer of God's Word. You know, there's many fellas, especially young boys, girls as well. I can remember Dad, whenever I was dating, of course, she's my girlfriend then, my wife now, I'd go in there and start combing my hair and whatever. Of course, it was down to about here. I was back in the hippie days. And uh, I'd wash my old face and shave a little bit. And Dad would say, now, son, there's no need for you to get all that done because said, everybody's going to know who you are. And how true that is. Hey, you can just uh, comb your hair back or sideways or have three or four hairs out of place or whatever it might be. Uh, have on a white shirt, blue shirt, green shirt. Uh, but people are going to know who you are. That's right. You're going to be known by the fruit that you bear. And considering the God that we serve, what kind of person should we be? Now, if we say that we know Christ... And we stand in church and we brag about being a Christian and all. Do you brag the same brag outside the church walls? Yeah. Outside that old building? 
It's easy to stand up in church and say, I'm Christian. Hey, there's nothing hard about that. But when you get on the workplace or you get out there uh, among the sinners, it may be a little more difficult than it was for me. You need to pray for boldness. Amen. I could stand in Walmart and holler praise the Lord as loud as I can in any church I've ever been in. I go into people's homes. I was over to Jeffrey's home the other day and uh, Ronald, I enjoyed my visit there with you and mom and uh, the girls. And my, we could just feel the Spirit of God so real. And then when we started singing that old fly away together, boy, I was getting ready to tear the walls down. We was going to uh, move that old house. God will cause that spirit to touch you and move in your life and lift you up. And uh, Cleavus, we visited with you there the other day, and it was just so good to see you again. And I, I know and realize that, that many people, their own physical body just uh, won't cooperate with them, but he says that this body will perish and he'll grow weaker, but the spirit is renewed daily. Amen. And folks, we're leaving a testimony behind. But people that stand in front of a mirror and primp up and try to look like somebody, folks, I'm telling you that uh, we can put on a show, we can put on an act, uh, we can put that old makeup all over our face and whatever else. I always told my daughters, you don't need lipstick or that there rude stuff or whatever, you're pretty enough that all that stuff. Uh, but, you know, I guess even no barn needs a coat of paint once in a while. Don't hurt anything. So I don't realize that God's still God. And he knows you from the inside. And we can cover up with all the things, you know, what we think will make us look Christian-like, but we may be filthy, dirty inside because the heart hasn't been cleaned up. People are just putting on the dog, as the old folks used to say. Uh, just uh, an old wolf in sheep clothing. And there's people out there professing Christianity that they don't know who God really is. People that are preaching behind uh, pulpits that don't know Jesus at all. They've just read this book and they're preaching for what money they can get and what power they can get. Well, folks, I'm here for one reason. I've told you that over the last 40 years probably and this broadcast that we're here to magnify Jesus Christ. Oh, Ped with us and Paul and Mavis and, and all these down the way, uh, uh, Luella and Bud and uh, Jim Anglin and Mona, you know, and uh, I could just go on and on and on. Old Tim Coon, uh, a lot of these folks done went on to be with the Lord. One day I'm going to join up with them, yeah. and we're going to have a time. But until then, there's work to do. I saw Brother Jerry Merrill the other day, and I told him, I said, Jerry, I appreciate you letting us broadcast from out of uh, the church. And you let your people know. We appreciate that uh, because the Spirit of God dwells here. We can feel it when we just walk through the door. Uh, if I just turn off for Route 20 up toward Sago and uh, on the way to church, I, I can feel the presence of God. And if I'm, well, anywhere I'm going, I can feel the presence of God because He goes with me all the time. We're inseparable. But I have said and come short of the glory of God. And so haven't you. And there's times that we fail to take that stand for Jesus. There's times that we fail to say, Lord, just forgive me of what I've done wrong. Lord says, here is that about bridling your tongue. You know, if you testify you're a Christian, people see you out there at the football game, or they see you at the basketball game, or they see you out on the street, and you're just standing there uh, just to cuss it and carry it on, that's not much of a testimony. Is that going to send you to hell? No, probably not. Not if you know Jesus Christ. But uh, you need to try to bridle that old tongue. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you hear. And be careful what you see. Let's look. Seek you first the kingdom of God, His righteousness. Keep your eye on the mark. Keep looking toward Jesus. And He'll direct your path. And He'll make your walk so joyful. It says here that if you want pure religion, undefiled with God, the Father, visit the fatherless. Visit the widows and those who are afflicted. Uh, get up off your couch and turn the TV off and get out there in the brush pile. Start kicking around there a little bit. People start moving. They'll, they'll wonder what you're up to. Wonder what you're doing. Wear a big old smile. You know, I've been in a lot of places. I've been going down the aisle singing and People say, I heard you coming, I knew you was here. Rather than the hospital, nursing home, wherever it might be. I've got a song in my heart. And I want to tell people Jesus is great. And it says, to try to keep yourself, you know, unspotted from the things of this world. The devil's filthy. He's filthy. He's just no account. 
And I can say that wholeheartedly. I want you to know that without Jesus, I'm no account to. That's right. I'm covered by His blood. And if you're looking for perfection, don't you look at me. I've told the wife many times, well, I'd go to do something around the house or whatever. I've been putting a little flooring down and doing a little this and that. And I said, now, if you're looking for perfection, you should get somebody else. Because I, I just do what I can do. And God doesn't expect any more of you or of me than what we can do. He doesn't expect us to be perfect in our own, but He knows that we're forgiven and we are made perfect by the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. So you go out there and visit them old widows. You go out and visit the fathers. Go out and visit the widowers. I visited one the other day. My, what a good time we had. The old tears flowing down his eyes. My heart was just crying out. And he said in July the 3rd, he was going to be 90 years old. My, what a good testimony that is. He's been a faithful Christian throughout the years. Folks, let's trust in the Lord Jesus Christ with all of our hearts. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. And as you visit people and you share, you'll think, well, I'm going to try to help them people and make them feel a little better. You know what's going to happen? They're going to make you feel better. That Holy Spirit's going to move in your life. And He's going to touch in a great and mighty way. I know that God is real. I know His love is real. And so we as Christians, let's begin to talk like Christians. Let's begin to act like Christians. Amen. Let's lift the name of Jesus above all other names because He is the only true and living God. Tonight, we're going to read a prayer request. My, we're always thankful for you to call in. and uh, God knows what your needs are. Uh, the family of uh, Gillespie Tenney, uh, Dave and Betty Gould, Julie McDaniels, Ernest uh, Gifford, grandchildren, Jimmy Gifford, Steve Gifford, Emma Zickafus and family, Toots Bennett, Rowan family, Mary Bell, Melinda, Daniel Lance, Ethel Simons, Brent, Dakota Tharp, Nathaniel Russell, all the residents, staff at Holbrook, for all the churches, for our ministers, schools, for uh, our country, for the president, for all of our leaders of our nation, the military, Wayne and Ruth Ann Giles, Louise, Mark Flecker, Thelma Carpenter, Tom Reed, Debbie Crockett, Daniel Paulette, and William Schaefer, Nancy Johnson, and Denver Johnson, Joy Moran, uh, Daniel Knight, and Cat Channel and family, Sharon Willie, uh, all those who have been diagnosed with cancer or been sick or any other problems physically they might have uh, for Christopher Johnson, all those that are lost for Arky Snyder, Ron Jeffries, uh, for uh, Gary Jeffries, uh, Mary and Ann Brown, uh, Daryl Bennett, uh, Margaret Slaughter, and Margaret Slaughter's family, and for Jeff and Missy Browning, and Junior Linger, and we know that there are many, many others. And we just pray God's going to bless each one of these. And I know He will. And as I pray, pray with me for these people because they have a need. And, and I'm honored when someone asks me or us as a church family to pray for them because, you know, I wouldn't ask somebody to pray for me and I didn't believe they could get in contact with God. So when I pray, I'm praying to the Father, to the Son. And that's the only way we can get there. And if you're watching tonight lost, you ask Jesus to be Lord of your life. Forgive you your sins. And I'll guarantee your life will never be the same because then you'll really begin to live. Father, as we enter your presence again, Lord, we thank you for the words that have come so freely tonight. We pray, Lord, that you be with everyone on this list, everyone that's called in, on all those that wanted to but didn't. Lord, heal the one that needs healed, uplift the one that needs uplifting, comfort the one that needs comforted. But most of all, Lord, if there's anyone calling on you for salvation, forgive them, Lord, as you promised you would. Help us to be a better testimony before a fellow man, Lord, that I can see that now is the time of salvation. And Lord, we know and realize that you said, whosoever shall call upon your name shall be saved. We thank you, Jesus, for that promise. In Jesus' name we pray. And amen and amen. May God bless you and keep you till we can be with you again. We'll come and sing us off the air. Bless you, Ronnie. I'm going to share about three songs with you tonight. But, uh, uh, this first one, uh, 
the choir did in church uh, yesterday, and I've been working on it, and I want to share it with you tonight. Uh, it's called Build My Mansion. It, for, I want to send it out to Cleo Wingfield and Vanny Cornell, Gus Allender, Teddy, Harold Nelsey Lewis, Llewellyn Maynard, Hannafin, Arky Snyder, Jesse Friend, Don and Joy Shingleton, and Kyle and Judy Lane, and also want to send it out to Tammy and the kids. <laughs> Just built my mansion next door to Jesus and tell the angels I'm coming home. It doesn't matter who lives around me. Just so my mansion sits near the throne. I have no castles, no earthly kingdom, but my cabin will do till I get home. My mansion's yonder on the hills of glory. Oh, I hope my mansion sits near God's throne. Just built my mansion next door to Jesus and tell the angels I'm coming home. It doesn't matter who lives around me just so my mansion sits near the throne. My mother's mansion may be close by me across the golden avenue she was the first one to teach me of heaven and the very first one lord to tell me about you just built my mansion next door to jesus and tell the angels I'm coming home. It doesn't matter who lives around me, just so my mansion sits near the throne. It doesn't matter who lives around me, just so my mansion sits near the throne, God's throne. So next one I'm going to do, I've got a request for. Uh, I want to stroll over heaven with you for Dolores Jeffries. I also want to send it out to Barry Beckner and his wife, Charlie Allen and his wife, Kenny Brown and his wife, Jeff and Missy Browning, Debbie Hamner, Miles Paul, Vonda Hamner, Helen Burkhammer, Donna, her daughter Donna, Cheryl Chavis. I want to stroll over heaven with you. If I surveyed all the good things that come to me from above, if I count all the blessings from the storehouse of love, I'd simply ask for a favor of him beyond mortal king and i'm sure that he'd grant it again i want to stroll over heaven with you some glad day when all our troubles and heartaches are vanished away then we'll enjoy the beauty where all things are new I want to stroll over heaven with you. So many places of beauty we long to see here below. The time and treasures have kept us from making plans as you know. But come the morning of the rapture, together we'll stand anew while I stroll over heaven with you. I want to stroll over heaven 
with you some glad day, and all our troubles and heartaches are vanished away. Then we'll enjoy the beauty where all things are new. I want to stroll over heaven with you. We'll renew old acquaintance with the friends we once knew. Then we'll meet all our loved ones and meet Jesus too. That will be a glad reunion and there'll be much to view while I stroll over heaven with you. I want to stroll over heaven with you some glad day when all our troubles and heartaches are vanished away. Then we'll enjoy the beauty where all things are new. I want to stroll over heaven with you. And this next one I want to do, I just... It's just one of my favorites, and I just want to try to share it with you tonight. It's called The Lighthouse. I want to send it out to Ernie Gifford and, and to Cat Channel and his family. Uh, my sister-in-law, Cheryl Chavez, too. Uh, it's just The Lighthouse. There's a lighthouse on the hillside that overlooks the sea when I'm tossed it sends out a light that I might see. And the light that shines in darkness now will safely lead us o'er. If it wasn't for the lighthouse, my ship would be no more. And I thank God for the lighthouse I owe my life to him, for Jesus is the lighthouse, and from the rocks of sin he has shown a light around me that I could clearly see. If it wasn't for the lighthouse, where would this ship be? Everybody that lives about us said tear that lighthouse down the big ships don't sail this way anymore there's no use of it standing round then my mind goes back to that stormy night when just in time i saw the light yes the light from that old lighthouse that stands up there on the hill. And I thank God for the lighthouse. I owe my life to him. For Jesus is the lighthouse. And from the rocks of sin, he has shown a light around me that I could clearly see. If it wasn't for the lighthouse, where would this ship be? If it wasn't for the lighthouse, where would this ship be? God bless you all. Good night. I do where the roses never fade. We'll try to play where the roses never fade for my friend Mary Brown, who has a birthday Friday. Happy early birthday, Mary.
stand corrected. Her birthday is Thursday. Forgive me. You good night and have a God bless. Make it sound a little bit better. <laughs> I know your life on earth was troubled. Only you could feel the pain. You weren't afraid. You face the devil You were no strange Church to the rain Your rest high On that mountain And your work On earth is done Go to hell Love for the Father in the sun. Oh, how we cried the day you left us. As we gaze around your grave to grieve, wish I could see the angel's face. When they heard your sweet voice sing, or as high on that mountain, and your work on earth is done, all oh, to heaven a shout. Love for the Father in the Son. Or as high on that mountain, and your work on earth is done. Go to heaven and shout. Love for the Father in the Son. Perez high on that mountain, and your work on earth is done. Oh, to heaven a shout. Love for the Father in the Son. Thank you all and good night.